Oh guys, it happened again. Went and picked up some more mower stuff. Got two pushers and this Yard Machines Yard Bug Rider. I guess we can start with the pushers first. Both of them do have compression. This one looks the best out of both of them. It's missing the wheels, the blade is bent, um, it's missing the gas cap, it's missing a few other small parts, it's missing the other part of the air filter box. The carburetor looks like it's gummed up and dirty, but the deck is in nearly perfect condition. I'm pretty sure I do have a bag for it, one was not included. Uh, and the next one I got was another Craftsman, came with that bag, or well, what's left of it. Um, it also has compression as well, and again, I have all the parts to make this thing look a little bit better. Definitely needs a good wash. All the wheels are there and in good shape. So, you guys have seen me pick up mowers that are in that were in far worse condition than this thing when I first got them, and uh, I make them look, you know, pretty good again. So, don't doubt me, guys. Those of you who. Uh, might uh, make a comment or two about it. At the very bare minimum, these things are worth it alone just for parts. Now this rider, these are not all common, all that common for this area. They're really not. Uh, I believe it's got an 11 horse Briggs in it. Yeah, it's a uh, 198707, um, nine horsepower actually. Uh, the kicker with this thing is, unfortunately, the motor seized up. At least it appears that way. But again, just like the other rider I picked up, this thing's actually in far better condition than that other rider. So, at the very bare minimum, the wheels are good, the transmission... I don't know if these things had transmissions in them, actually. I don't know if they were direct drive. I think they were direct drive. I'm not too sure about that just yet. haven't looked into it all that much, but... Anyways, so this whole load only cost me 40 bucks, which is kind of on point with uh, what I've bought them from people for. So let's go ahead and uh, unload all this crap. Stick it right over there. All right, guys, so I just unloaded everything. I even went and uh, hosed this one off with the uh, water hose so you guys could get a better look at it. But this one, even the blade cable works still. It's definitely got plenty of compression. I've not even looked at the uh, underside of it yet. Fairly clean, a little bit of little bit of rust. Blade looks to be in decent enough shape. And the crankshaft doesn't appear to be bent either. gas out of it. This one on the other hand, uh, as I said, definitely needs some work. It's missing the top little beauty cover that goes here. Missing part of the air filter box, the gas cap, all the wheels obviously, the bag, which I, again, I might have a bag for it. Needs another handle. I can't do it because I need a third hand, but it does have compression. I uh, squeeze the flywheel brake open and then I pulled the cord at the motor and it's definitely got compression as well. So I should be able to get this one going just fine. Is the blades a little dicked? So we might have a flywheel key that needs to be changed, but everything else looks okay. I already checked this thing for, uh, you know, if the shaft was bent. And it's definitely straight. So this will this one will be a uh, one that I can get running again. All the controls appear to still be working fine. There's no battery in it. The height adjuster works for the deck. Here's a better look at this motor. Definitely needs uh, some work, and I just looked at it some more and. The starter's actually been removed. I don't know why. But there's definitely plenty of good parts on this motor uh, still left over. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with this thing just yet. 
probably end up parting it out or selling it whole. I got it uh, cheap enough to where it's not really a big deal um, if I decide to sell it or not as is. But I do have another motor that I can put into this thing. So I don't really know how I'm going to go with that just yet. Unfortunately, with that Toro wheel horse that I picked up a while ago, um, the guy came, looked at it, even left me a $40 deposit. And at the very end of it, I guess he decided he didn't want it, and he had wanted me to pull the motor out for him, so I did that. Typical Craigslist shit, boys. It really is. So I might, uh, I might end up sticking that wheel horse motor into this thing because basically the same motor except the wheel horse one is rated for a little bit higher horsepower so that might be a uh, good candidate for a motor swap uh, thing is with these uh, these kind of riders they're not necessarily worth a whole hell of a lot compared to a tractor if I put another motor into this thing and got it going again and threw a battery in it I might be able to get about 300 for it here might it's kind of hard to say but something like this would also be kind of fun to make into some sort of uh redneck go-kart i guess so I, I don't i don't really know what i want to do with it just yet boys also the other part of this haul is i also picked up three chainsaws and four weed whackers today all four of these weed whackers are home lights they're not really anything special that one does run I don't know how well it does run because I need to uh, put the shaft back onto it. Um, don't know if these run. That one doesn't really have any compression. That one does. So I might be able to swap some parts around. Honestly, I don't really mess with these kind of weed eaters all that much simply because it's really not worth my time to do it. They don't really sell for all that much. One of these in perfect running condition might get me about 40 bucks. And uh, the real, the unfortunate part about them is uh, if you ever have to start buying parts for these, that really eats into whatever profit there is from them. So, unfortunately, they just kind of uh, get pitched in the trash eventually. But, uh, looks like we have another chain here. So I got three chainsaws. This one is a McCulloch uh, 3200 series. I believe this is the model number right here, or that might be it. Not 100% sure about that, but this one runs not all that well, but it does run. Uh, it wants to die out. It'll run for about 15 seconds, and then as soon as you start giving it any, th any throttle, um, it just kind of bogs down and just dies. So it's probably a diaphragm or carburetor needs to be rebuilt. This uh, John Searid, John's a red, I have no idea how you pronounce that. Um, it feels a little tight and not in a good way. It doesn't feel seized. It feels like there's a lot of compression. It feels like there's a lot more than there should be. I don't know if this thing has uh, some sort of brake on it or anything like that that makes it a little bit harder to uh, to start it but I haven't put any gas into it just yet this is a pretty damn big chainsaw and it would be cool as shit if I could get this thing going again um, but it is kind of rednecked the uh, off switch the guy just had a wire going out that I'm assuming he just grounded out to a bolt or the side of the case or something um, but it would be really cool to get this thing going again this one's just weird it's a power cut brand I've never heard of the brand, but if I would have to guess the year, um, I would say this is like a early to mid 90s, maybe. Uh, I looked up, I looked up the brand online, couldn't find anything, so I don't really know if I'm gonna push this thing any further because I'm already messing the side cover, and uh, chainsaws aren't nearly as bad as weed whackers. Um, but especially ones like these where they're just kind of kind of an off-brand one. They're really not worth uh, dumping a whole hell of a lot of money into But at the very least this one I should be able to get going perfectly fine um, He also gave me a few chains these two are used and these two are brand new 
Uh, let's see. He gave me a bunch of uh, weed trimmer line. That's for the big wheel trimmer, like the one I've already got. So this stuff actually comes in handy, but what sucks is I already just bought um, a brand new tube of these from Sears like three months ago for the one at my dad's place. And then here's a uh, closer look at these two home lights. They're old. They're not really... Stuff like this just really isn't worth pursuing. I mean, I'll mess with them a little bit. Maybe I can swap some parts around and get, you know, both of them, at least one of each pair working. We'll have to see about that. But they're just really not worth messing with most of the time. And I don't even have an extra trimmer head out of all this. That one's missing a shaft uh, and the, the trimmer attachment. And I just have one of these attachments with the head still on it. That one right there. So I don't, like I said, I don't really know how far I'm going to pursue these, but you know, it's always, always something to mess with. So anyways, boys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love getting shit for free. You want to stay classy.